In this next video, we're going to look at how to add a slideshow to your Weebly website. So I've created a page for us for this tutorial called Slideshow. In your build section, you're going to look over here to the left and search for a slideshow, click and drag it over. You have an option for different slideshow setups you can have. Uh, this one doesn't have any thumbnails on the bottom. So if you don't want to, then, um, your viewers to see what's coming next, you want them to be surprised. This would be a really good option to go with. Sometimes I use this option right here because it puts a number on each of the images. That way, if there's anything in the classroom, like voting, you can just vote on an image, um, an image number instead of having to label them individually. So that might be a good option for you. I like this system right here is probably my favorite, but you can experiment with all of them. So you're going to upload several images to your slideshow. So I'm going to work with five and click open. And so when, if you need to add more photos, you can do that. Um, right here. You can also um, work on the captions right here. So I'm going to call this South Carolina number one. Oops, one. So you can also link these so that it opens up into another website. You can add uh, text, an alter alternate text right here in case anybody cannot see the image that you have put inside. Um, and you can also delete. In this section, you can rearrange. So I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange so that I have landscape, vertical, landscape, vertical, and I'm gonna click save. I come below here and you can see that it opens up one that's really large and then all the smaller thumbnails are beneath it. So let's click publish and take a look at how it looks. Okay, as you can see, it takes up most of my screen. I can push play so that it will automatically scroll forward and notice how the captions come up just like this. And I can also move forward. So I might use this for teaching, um, for presentations if I need to. Another aspect you wanna look at is maybe some options. So if you click in the white area back here, you can add or edit photos. You can do the transition so that it can fade, it can do mosaic and do slice or fold. You can have the speed of your automatic slideshow go at different rates. You can change the spacing and where the location of your caption will be. In the advanced settings, you can turn it on to autoplay so that as soon as somebody goes to your website, the slideshow will begin. You can turn off the controls if you don't like the way that looks up top. And you can also change where the beginning of your uh, presentation is. I'm going to click publish and you're ready to go.